Okay, guys, so after you have all your pieces cut and complete, and you attach my used to always wonder, I used to watch my mom watch Julia Childs, and she'd be cooking all this food, and I'd be like, how is she going to get all this food completed in an hour? She already have a roast or whatever she cooking already prepared. So she's walking you through how to prepare the meal, but it's already one complete. So this little piece right here that we cut, this is the piece that's going to go all the way around the necktie, all the way around. And then remember I told you, no zipper tying the back. I have a bodysuit that's complete. That's how they do them shows. So you got to have something in the making and some complete. Y'all ain't got no whole hour to give me. So, if you see, this go all the way around. Fix down a hanger. So, this the front, but you see it go all the way around. This the back, the bodysuit. And it ties in the back. So, see, this is a no uh, zipper bodysuit. So, that's how you do it, guys. So, if you guys want to make these bodysuits and you're always like, oh, my God, who's going to tie me up? That's how you do it. So I hope that this helped you guys. And I'm like, you know what? We ain't got to make no long go video. Just get a bodysuit that's all ready together. Show them a finishing and show them a process of how to put it together. So, yeah, that's how you're going to do these no zipper in the back bodysuit. And this is a really good spandex. So these fabric, guys, is all spandex that i'm using i want to i want to definitely tell y'all that because if y'all using material that's not a spandex it might and you want to give yourself good enough room to get in there so if you nice plump and juicy you know you see this fabric this fabric got a lot of, it's like a, a lot of spandex in it so if you nice plump and juicy get some good spandex and you can get that nice juicy booty in there guys so i hope that helped you guys and i want to say something to you guys we get a lot of criticism when we come online, especially on TikTok. I do my little videos over there. And people want to know what my biggest fear is. My biggest fear is not trying. So, guys, we got to go through those wolves. So, meaning the mean people on TikTok or YouTube. We got to go through them to reach our target audience. And I promise you, it will pay off. All my customers, like I told y'all before when I was doing a wig, came from YouTube. All my customers now for my clothes come from TikTok. And I get a lot of criticism. So I got to make it through those wolves to get to the good people that's, that wants to buy my stuff. And it don't matter. I'm in my bedroom. If y'all in y'all garage, whatever, stop feeling like y'all need a space or a location to make money. If you guys know me, I made money always out of this same bedroom. And when God advanced me with more, I get more. So don't feel like you got to have all this trying to impress people because all you're doing is spending more money. Start with where you at and God would advance you to your next level. So I hope that that gives some people some motivation to put their work out there because the spectators is just there to look and talk shit. They're not there to buy nothing. They're not your target audience. They're not the ones you're marketing to. And when people wonder on TikTok, why do you do these little quirky dances? We got a Liberty Tech service here. And every winter, this person get out there in a Statue of Liberty outfit and they dance like a mascot in the games. And a lot of time when you just stand in there like this, like this, like that, people like, what the hell? But in my little videos, when I find a little dance or whatever I like, and probably don't even know how to dance good, it makes them stop and look, and then they see it. <gasps> A. Marie Design, oh, she's selling clothes. I never knew that. I thought the little lady was out of her mind, but it makes them watch the video. Is is it, it might be quirky advertising, but guys, it helped me out. So I hope that helped you guys. For the people that want to be entrepreneurs, the only thing that scares me is when I don't try. You got that Michael Jordan talent in you that you just got to let it out. And don't be afraid because a lot of these people ain't going to buy shit. They just there to, to yap. And if you really look at today's life, they not doing nothing. And they're miserable with themselves. So put your, goal, put your goals, put your dreams out there. It starts right here. For anything to happen, it starts with a thought, and then you put it out there. So, guys, every time I thought of something and I act on it and I did it, it made me money. When you sit back and you're afraid of everything, you're not going to grow. You got to you gotta plant those seeds to get them out there. Hope that helps my entrepreneurs. Love you guys. Toodles.